Cricket, congratulations. Oh, thank you so congratulations, much. guys. I'm so YouTube and social media, peep this out guys. It's Ian Kay back again with another one for you. Here in West Hollywood, thanks to the fine folks over at Jack in the Box to take a look at a brand new menu category that's launching very soon. That's right guys, the company that revolutionized the breakfast menu back in 1969 by introducing the breakfast sandwich and also revolutionized eating greater later thanks to its fan favorite munchie meals is going all in on a brand new category and I'm definitely excited to check out and see what it is. You've heard of breakfast, you've heard of lunch, have you heard of brunch fest? Let's go in and take a look guys. We've got a lot of cool fun stuff to take a look at. Brunch Fest is our uh, newest introduction to the menu. It is available 24-7. Uh, now, all of us have cravings, but I will say that Cricket, Jack's wife, probably has a whole new perspective on what cravings are. So the big announcement is that Jack and Cricket are expecting a baby. And so, you probably all know that there is no craving like a pregnancy craving. So there we go. The man delivered, and we have the brunch fast on our menu. And yes. without further ado, let's do brunch fast, and let's eat. You will be sampling our products. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let's kick it off with one of my favorites, the mini pancakes as part of their jumbo breakfast platter that I reviewed not that long ago. You guys can definitely check the Jack in the Box playlist for that one. Fluffy, airy, very, very delicious, some pretty tasty syrup to go along with it. We have got the brunch burger. It's exactly as you'd expect it to be, guys. We've got eggs, cheese, bacon, a nice 100% beef sirloin patty that's in there too. Very, very delicious. Of course, you've got the egg and bacon chicken sandwich over here, as you guys can see. Home style filet. We've got some egg, we've got some cheese, we've got some bacon all on that English muffin. For those of you guys who are looking for a little bit of a lighter fare in the morning, we've got some orange cranberry muffins. And these are definitely the epitome of mini, but they deliver big on flavor. Very, very nice presentation, looking very fluffy and a very nice size. We've got three of them right here. Take a look at the Southwest Scrambler plate. Very nice presentation, guys. We've got a really nice chopped up omelet over here. Looks like it's got some peppers, it's got some cheese, got some of the homestyle fries, and of course, some of the crispy bacon alongside. Speaking of homestyle fries, you know, we gotta keep that on the side. Take a look at it right over here, close up. Seasoned up with some peppers, lots of nice crispy goodness all around. Very, very meaty looking potatoes. Very, very solid. Now, I definitely enjoy the caramelized coffee that I reviewed as well. This is very, very tasty on the menu at Jack in the Box. Very, very nice. Of course, you gotta have that for breakfast. Absolutely, it fits. Take a look at this new one, guys. The Blood Orange Cooler. And considering how crazy crispy it is right now in West Hollywood, very hot here in Southern California, take a look at how nice this looks. Looking to refresh without a doubt. I'm very excited to give this one a shot. All right, guys, I've got Q the Critic and the homie Sean right over here at the end. We're going to take a look at the awesome brunch burger over Ooh. here at Jack in the Box, the event right now happening in West Hollywood. Take a look at that deliciousness, looking very, very nice. Let's give this a go. Combination of breakfast and lunch. Good looking burger. Oh, it does. Look at that. Look at that right over there. The and bacon on this one, too. It's got the egg. You love croissants? Yeah. I'm a fan, dude. Let's do, a, let's do a 360 real quick on this one. Look at that 360 action. Cravovision right there. Cravovision. Nicely. Let's give this a bite and see how the brunch burger is, shall we? Let's do it. You ready? Oh. good. That meat instantly. That, Don't get it twisted. That's what she said. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is so good. much flavor yeah. in it. it. It's the number one thing you automatically taste. It's beautiful. It's that upgraded yeah. meat. Oh, yeah, I was going to first up. I was going to first up. He's going for two. This thing is already destroyed. Look at this right now. I like the bacon. What do you guys think of the flakiness of the croissant, actually? Because this is a buttery, nice flaky and, croissant. It really it's is. It's nice and soft. And mm. Man. But I really like the bacon and how the cheese is just kind of melted together. Yeah. It's a great combination of, of everything. Each layer complements yeah. the next layer. So Definitely. The crispness of the bacon and the cheese, a little bit of that light, almost like a mayo hollandaise type sauce, which is pretty awesome. That's real buttery and flaky. I am really yeah. digging this, really digging this, the quality in this croissant. one. Just eating the croissant by itself, mm. it totally has so much texture and flavor. Yeah. All right, if you're going to rate this one to 10, what are you going to do? I'm going to give it about a seven. 
Seven? Nice, nice. Sean, what do you think? I have uh, very few complaints. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. On nice, that one. nice. Absolutely. I'm gonna say for execution, it gets a ten because the quality is high. Overall, I'm gonna say eight because it's really just like a hyper breakfast sandwich with yes. a very nice meat patty in it. Very, very well done. Definitely bomb sexy. Awesome. All right, they say Jack in the Box has got a snack in the box over here. We were told these homestyle fries are legit. These are not just fried, these are grilled. So look at the quality of what you're getting right over here right now. Homestyle type fries, seasoned up. We've got some peppers. We've got some nice, delicious looking seasoned goodness ready to go over here. Let's give this a shot. They smell amazing. They, they do, they really do. They really waft up when you open up this lid. Mmm. Mm. This is like buffet potatoes to me. Straight out buffet potatoes. That's good. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Almost like a Southwest type of feel, to there be honest. Is. That's really with, good. With, with the peppers cut up inside yeah. there, it totally gives it a Southwest taste. The green and red pepper, a mm -hmm. little bit of light spice. Not quite chipotle, but... Not overpowering. The grilling of the potatoes makes a difference with this. It's nice. This I would give a 10. Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna go straight nine, nine out of ten with this one. They're perfect complement to any breakfast item right now on the brunch for menu over here, Jack in the Box. I'm by gonna far. Go give it a, a ten. It's a solid ten. Well, I don't think that there's anything that they could do to really improve it. Yeah. Um, Flavor-wise, across the board, it's it's great. More like potato. If, if they were a little crunchier, that would be like over the top. Okay like a little burnt a little bit maybe? You know, this is one of those things where some locations may vary in terms of the cooking time a Absolutely little bit here and there. Right. So you may actually get a little bit of the crisper caramelized type of edges. Right. But just for what the event is here, this is made really well. Wow. This is really made really well. Fantastic, definitely fantastic. Ooh. Mad Zion, Reckless Eating. I'm hearing the blood orange cooler is highly recommended over here right now. Let's give this a shot. Salut. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is refreshing. That yeah, is refreshing. I was thinking it was going to be heavy. Usually blood orange is a really heavy drink. Yeah. They have like one glass yes. or something. You know, I want to say it's almost like sun-kissed soda a little bit. It's got some carbonation. It's not so heavy in terms of the sweetness. That's pretty nice. Look at that in the light, too. I mean, that is just lovely. It is more of a punch. It is. It is. It's not bad at all. It's like I went to a small child's birthday party. <laughs> and I'm really bored, so yeah. I, I just grabbed the punch. Not quite a spike. Not quite a spike. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is definitely good. That's yeah, good. Very, very light. Definitely light. One to ten. What do you think? Oh uh, yeah, I would go. I go with an eight on it. It's good. It's a lot better than I thought it was. I like blood orange things, but like I said, they get blood orange gets tiring very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I can drink a whole thing of this. Although I'm gonna try to avoid it because I don't want to gain like 400 pounds. <laughs> Everything in moderation, though. But if I'm gonna rate this one, I'm gonna go with a solid eight as well. It's refreshing. Gets the job done. We're melting right now in West Hollywood as we speak, so this is super refreshing. Great quality. Look for this on the brunch fist over at Jack in the Box. Thank you for having me. It's a pretty exciting menu category for Jack in the Box. You can definitely feel the energy in the air. It's looking like it's going to be a very successful launch and definitely something to help differentiate it within the fast food industry. Introducing my new Brunch Fast menu with tasty options like my brunch burger and a crispy bacon and egg chicken sandwich served all day, every day, only at Jack in the Box. All right, guys, that is it from West Hollywood right now. A very fun event over here at Jack in the Box. The Brunch Fest is in effect. Look for it at your local Jack in the Box. As always, this is your boy Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out. If you guys haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me out over at peepthisoutreviews.com and keep in touch with me at all the addresses that you see right above me because after all, this is Peep This Out, baby. You know how we do. We'll definitely talk to you next time. Stay frosty. Peep This Out, guys. Yes, who? Very cool.